I'm gonna show you how to split and mix text together, which is perfect for merch design just like these. So let's get started in Kittle. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some text, which you can do by hitting the T button. And we're just gonna put home for now. That's the text that I'm gonna work with. And this effect works really well with a condensed font that has a little bit of weight to it. So if you use a super thin font, it might not work so well. You just wanna make sure you use something that's pretty legible. This is very similar to our previous cut or split text effect you might've already seen on the channel. But what we're gonna do here is first pick a different color. I've picked this kind of creamish tan background. I'm gonna go for kind of a faded green look. And what we're gonna do is just give our text a gradient. So again, if you saw that previous tutorial, we're not showing you anything specifically new here, but this is how the trick works. What I'm gonna do is select this black color, and then I'm gonna turn it off so that we're left with the green. I'm gonna pull the green all the way to the top so you see that swatch, it was on the bottom. Now I'm gonna take it to about halfway, and then I'm gonna take the, the swatch that's turned off to about halfway, and you see when I do that, it creates a much more clean effect here, a clean cut effect. And I'm trying to get it just about halfway down the stem of the H there, the crossbar of the H. And then what I'm gonna do is duplicate it. You can hold the Alt or Option key and drag. And then all we're gonna do is the reverse. I'm just gonna drop the green swatch to the opposite side. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is just take it and move it. So now you can see these are fully transparent. I can move them any way I want. And now we have a place for additional text in the middle. So I'm gonna add text with the T button and now I've put is where the heart is. So home is where the heart is. I know, uh, pretty cliche, but again, just for the sake of showing you this effect and what you can do with it. I'm choosing a script font. Now what you're gonna wanna do is choose a script font that has some pretty massive letters. And what I mean by that is like, it's pretty large. So you can see there that the stems there of the H's are massive. And the reason is because I like the overlap. It kind of creates this boutique-y uh, scripty effect, which, you know, is very popular on Etsy. I've definitely seen it super popular on Etsy, as well as on Amazon and in just regular stores, regular shopping stores. So this one's also quite nice. You can see how the H and the T all extend really high up. And so you have some overlap here, which I think creates the effect nicely. What I'm going to do is raise this just a little bit, and I'm going to go over here to mock it up so I can see what it looks like on a shirt. So now you can see I have this design. And this is extremely reminiscent to probably what you've been seeing on Etsy or other merch stores or marketplaces or somewhere where you're selling t-shirts online. I'll show you what it looks like here on a different mock-up. So this is more kind of a realistic action shot, maybe a different kind of shirt here, put it right here in the middle. Maybe we want it to do like a V-cut shirt. I think it would also look totally fine with that, just a little bit below uh, like this. And of course, if we want to change this, we can change it at any time. So if I click back to the editor up here, we can continue to create basically endless templates okay i changed this to love and now i put all is all we need again another common quote and that's how easy you can do this you can just parse this out into as many designs as you'd like and that's how you make the split text effect in kittle